Hello everyone, this is Thomas Kincaid, the painter of light. I'd like to unveil today my brand new piece. This is Make-A-Wish Cottage. What's exciting to me is this is the first time I've painted a wishing well. Now the theme of this cottage is Make-A-Wish. And you know, with four beautiful little girls in my family, I know one thing, that girls love to wish in their heart for what the future might hold. My daughters will often want to make a wish as we pass wishing wells, or sometimes you'll see a public fountain, they'll say, Dad, can I make a wish? And I began to think about that and included the wishing well in my brand new cottage. Now what could be a better highlight in a garden than to see a wishing well standing there, all overgrown and settled with the stone sort of crumbling over the years? As we look into the painting, you notice a lot of the fun details that I I think collectors really look for in my work. Of course, this is a cottage. Now, the cottage is a typical Kincaid cottage in that it features a lot of different building materials. We have a combination of stone, brick, and of course, the exposed half timbers. You see that in cottages in England quite often. And of course, we have the walkway leading up to the cottage with the stones, the flagstones with the cracks, and of course we have moss growing in the cracks, and the water is reflecting the moisture of the morning, or perhaps the evening dew that is settled there on those stepping stones and on the walkway. A beautiful arbor is overgrown with flowers, and of course we have the sunset sky very luminous over the cottage. A fire is lit in the hearths, and we have a sense that the cottage is glowing with welcome. The top of the wishing well is thatched roofing just like the cottage and of course we have that bronze cap, a beautiful accent in the garden. I had fun painting the detail of the rope and the bucket as well as the crank and the handle that comes to the crank. I'd love to have a wishing well like that in my garden, a place for my girls to gather around and just ignite their imagination and their daydreams. Of course, one of the effects that I love to create is the effect of light. I've been working now on this effect for many, many years. Of course, these are techniques that I've been working on throughout that time. And as you look at the painting and watch the light as it begins to dim, you'll see the lights of the hearth fire from within the cottage, the sunset colors up above in the sky really begin to glow. Now, these are techniques I've been working on for so long, and it begins to be second nature, but I feel as though I'm really at a breakthrough point. Someone told me it's like having a different painting every time you look at it, because as different lighting effects happen, it changes the color tones and the mood of the painting. It also is true that the more you live with a painting, the more you discover little hidden details. This painting has eight hidden ends. You'll see a little number eight by my signature that tells you how many hidden ends are in that painting. Of course, that's a tribute to my wife, Nanette. She and I recently celebrated our 21st wedding anniversary, and we're going strong. We have a great time together and love our family of four beautiful little girls. And of course, this launches a brand new series. This is the first piece in my Wishful Places collection. So you can watch for other releases in that collection, hopefully, in the years to come. Of course, all my paintings are a mixture of the world that I observe and things I've experienced, as well as my imagination. I've always been very romantic and very imaginative. I keep my sketchbook with me everywhere I go, and I'm always getting ideas for paintings. This one came about as I was strolling the garden of a beautiful residence, and I found this antique wishing well, and it just sort of stuck in my mind over the years. And Finally, I've expressed it in Make-A-Wish Cottage, brand new for this year. Now, as I always point out, the paintings really are an attempt to use whatever God-given talent I might have and share a little light, a little inspiration, a little hope with people. Uh, we live in very stressful times, and I really see the paintings as a ministry of hope, a reminder of beauty, a peaceful messenger in the home, so to speak, that brings a constant affirmation of the good things in life. I hope you sense that when you look at Make-A-Wish Cottage. God bless you.